Okay, now we have to find the, the sum of this rational series over here from 2 to n in terms of n. Okay, so before we uh, try to find the sum, we have to write the partial fractions for 3 over r minus 1 into r. So, guys, how many factors are there hmm? in the two. 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 So, how many fractions we shall have? Two. Two fractions. Two. Thank you. And this is going to be a over r minus 1 plus b over r. Now, you please uh, complete it while I'm doing this on the board here. So, this is 3 equivalent to a r plus b into r minus 1. So I'll put r equal to 0. When I put r equal to 0, I get 3 equal to minus b. So that means b is equal to minus 3. Okay, next I put r equal to 1. So when I put r equal to 1, I should get 3 equal to a. So that means a is equal to 3. Now, the same question now becomes, this is going to be summation of the series from r2 to n. This is going to be um, 3 over r minus 1. This is minus 3 over r. Now you have seen that you have the formulas for uh, like if there is r from 1 to n and this is simply r. Before that you had the formula if there is r from 1 to n and there is just k. So that was kn. Remember that? And this was half into r into r plus 1. And then I'm just writing this. So you have to correct me if there is any problem with it. Then you have the formula for r from 1 to n for the r square. So that was 1 over 6 into, this should be n over here. This is okay. This is n. This is 1 over 6 n into n plus 1. And then that was 2 n plus 1. Okay. And then you also have the formula for the cube is r from 1 to n and then you had r cube that was 1 over 4 n square into n plus 1 whole square now since these are this r minus 1 and r they are the denominators so we can use these formulas over here to find the sum so its method is we just start putting the values of r into it now just keep looking at this that what is going to happen over here when I put, like, I have to start from 2. So when I put 2 over here, this becomes 3 minus 3 over 2. This is the first term, okay? The series plus. Then I put R as 3. I'll be putting R3 over here. So this will be 3 over 2 and then minus 3 over 3. Then plus. Then I put r as 4. When I put r 4, this is going to be 3 over 3 minus 3 over 4. So I keep on writing this, this, okay. Then I put n over here. This is going to be 3 over n minus 1 minus 3 over n. That is the last term. And if I just write the second last term over here, when I'm putting n, so what is before n? Hmm? What do we have before n? Hmm? What do we have before n, Bacho? n minus 1. n minus 1. So that should be n minus. This is minus 3 over n minus 1. And this is going to be 3 over n minus 2. Okay? Now, if you look at this, if I open these brackets here, you will see that this minus 3 over 2 is cancelled with this 3 over 2. This minus 3 over 3 is going to be cancelled with this 3 over 3. And so on. All these terms will be cancelled. And this 
3 over n minus 1 is cancelled with this minus 3 over n minus 1. And this will definitely be cancelled with a term over here, okay? So what are we left with? We are left with just two terms. One is this 3 and the other is minus 3 over n. So that is how you can say that the summation of the series from r2 to n for this 3 over r minus 1 into r, that is going to be 3 minus 3 over n. So we have used the partial fractions and then uh, uh, just uh, putting some of the values just to show that all these values will be cancelled together and just two of the terms will be left. Okay. Now there's one more thing that is asked in, in such a question that what if n tends to infinity, then what would be this sum? What would be this sum if n tends to infinity? Okay. So, but you, uh, you know that infinity is anything over zero that is infinity. And what is the reciprocal of infin infinity, but you? Hmm? Zero. Zero. Okay. So the reciprocal of the infinity is zero. So when you put your n as infinity, so all of this turns to zero. So this sum for 3 over r minus 1 into r, when r tends to in, n tends to infinity, that is going to converge to a value which is equal to 3. 